The newly released autopsy of a Bell Mead doctor tells the story of a brutal murder. It's a crime that shocked a community that hasn't seen that kind of violence in decades. Tonight, the victim's husband is in jail on a $1 million bond. Our Rebecca Schleicher joins us with the new information about what happened to Dr. Sandra Thomas Trudeau. Rebecca, what have you learned? Well, Rory, Dr. Thomas Trudeau was the chief epidemiologist at the Metro Health Department, and according to the report, what happened to her was nothing short of horrific. The autopsy was released by the medical examiner's office today, and it details a brutal murder. The medical examiner found 17 stab wounds to the neck, heart, lungs, stomach, and kidneys. The report says there's no doubt the cause of her death was murder. The doctor's husband, William Thomas Trudeau, tipped off police when he showed up to the West Precinct January 21st, bloody and injured. He walked into the West, to the West Precinct and essentially said that he was there to surrender or to turn himself in for the murder of his wife. And he declined to answer any further questions. And that's when detectives rushed to the couple's apartment on Bellmead Boulevard. They found her body along with a bloody knife in a bathroom sink. In February, a judge sent the case to a grand jury. Thomas Trudeau is charged with first degree murder, and police say they had never answered any calls at the couple's apartment ever in the past, so they did not know if there was any history of domestic violence. They said that as, as far as the police know, there wasn't. Sandra was an MIT graduate and had worked in the medical field in several different states across the country for several years. Reporting in the newsroom, Rebecca Schlenker, News Channel 5. Thanks, Rebecca.